the Pharaoh's tablet. Let's go. What's up guys, Max back here, your move, coming at you with the Pharaoh's tablet. With the release of the 2022 Megatons, decided, you know what? Why don't we open all three, see which one is best. The new 2022 tin uh, completes the Pharaoh's tablet as you guys saw in the thumbnail, but I will go ahead and put it together here for you guys. Uh, and, and it does actually complete the tablet, which is pretty awesome. I don't think that's gonna fit on the camera, so we'll show it there, but you can see that is the completed Pharaoh's tablet. And you know what? After opening a couple of them, I thought, you know what? What would be the best of the three? So let's open all three today and see which one was best. Well, I think what we're going to do is we are going to start in chronological order, starting with the oldest one to the newest one. We're going to open up the 2022 tin first. This tin, it's been a while since I've opened this guy up. Um, this one was actually a really, really good tin, really good value in it. This one actually had a decent amount of uh, cards in it for that were really, really good cards. I know you had the dark, uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, Dragoon reprint, uh, Appaloosa reprint in this guy. Um, you had uh, IP Mascarena was in it, and we are going to get into it, see what we can get today. Look at that, thick boys. Three packs, let's go. Not wasting any time. Getting into this first pack of old school nostalgia here. 2020, and yeah, the 2020 10. I'm not going to waste too much time on these commons, but ooh, dinged up corner there. Yeah, these ones got a little beat up in the tin. Surprised about that. Tenny Spirit. So starting out with our shinies here, the FA Shining Star, Numeric XX, Utopic Draco, and Friendly <laughs> Mystic Mine is the secret, the bane of so many uh, people's lives. That is actually a really good pull there for this one. We will leave that secret right there. Storm Dragon Return, Evil Eye Defeat, White Howling as the rare, and more Tenny's Time Thief. Mini Track Bulldozer, Speed Burst Dragon, Salomon Grade, Fusion of Fire. All right, you know what? I think we are going to go ahead and move over these Ultras here and leave those there so you guys can still see those. Those are some pretty good cards. We'll stack them up because there's going to be a lot of cards in this open. <laughs> nice pack here. Let's see what secret we can get out of this one. Already off to a pretty good start with that Mystic Mine. Infinity Track. Time Thief Flyback, Marinza Sea Angel, Apple Enlightenment, Solomon Great, Evil Eye Retribution, Whitefish Salvage, Ooh. and Witchcrafter Edel as the secret. We will leave that there. Witchcrafter again, and Solomon Great Pyro Phoenix, Emperor Maju Gazette as the, uh, uh, sorry, rare. And then Unchained, or Danger Feet of Strength, Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. That's actually a pretty good card for the Soul Star Tenny's deck. And that is it for that pass. Last pack for the 2020 Tin of Memories. Can we get a Dragoon? Can we get an IP? Borload Savage Dragon is the other one that was in here that was actually really kind of hoping to pull that one. Let's see, what can we get out of 2020? Jelly Cannon, Hyper Psychic, Black Spiral, World Legacy, Rinse of Snow. Sound great. Wow. Test Panther. Sign it down. That's a really good one. Dragon Knight Romulus. Not a bad secret rare for that one. Infinity Track Fortress for the Ultra. Destined Rivals. And White Aura Monoceros. Not the best packs out of this tin, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, and we'll have to look up and see what the values are. That is it for the 2020 packs of greatness for the tins. On to the next one. We will open 2021. This one, really honestly, and you know what? It wasn't the best. <laughs> there were some value cards in here. It's not some bad stuff in it, but really honestly, the only cards that really maintain their value, I think, are Triple Tactics. When they re announced they were reprinting Cross Out as a secret, in uh, the 2022 tins, cross outs value tanked. And there's some other good stuff in here, but really not the best. <laughs> but we'll see what we can get. See if we can pull the triple tactics here. Get this going. I had Ignister, Awakening of the Possessed, Rainbow Zoo, Melfi Hide and Seek. Oh, I just rucks in <laughs> Melfi Puppy, Phantom Knights, Stain Greaves. It's pretty good. It's, uh, 
of the whoop, and Ad Emancipator. I love the Ad Emancipators. Fusion deployment, that's not a bad secret rare there. Dogmatic Nexus, Aerial, Virtual World, Rookie for Hire, Red Familiar. <laughs> a lot of these, if you guys have seen my uh, uh, 150 sub special, a lot of these cards, like I said, were in the uh, Eternity Code box. So you'll see these reprinted in here. Like I said, they didn't keep their value as quite as well because they were pretty much print, print, ah, printed into oblivion. But Melfi Caddy, let's see what we can get on this one. Not gonna waste too much time on these commons. Deep Sea Aria, Generator, Dogmatica, Ecclesia the Virtuous. This one actually still has some decent value, I believe. King Beast Barros <laughs> and Grave Digger's Trap Hole. That is another one of the ones that I actually pulled. What am I doing? That goes there. Um, from the that Eternity Code box and the rest commons. We're not going to waste too much time on them. Last pack for 2021 Megaton. Let's see. If you guys watching this far, comment down. Tell me which uh, 10 you think ones this little battle we got going here. Tell me which you think was the best one. Infra Noble Arms, Magic Hound. Virtual War Lulu, Opening of the Spirits Gates. Oh, we got a uh, spell there. And uh, yeah, no, no, that's just a word. Phantom Knights, Rank of Magic. Nothing else too special here. Linker Bell there. Yeah, that 2021 was a bit disappointing. <laughs> All right, on to the last one. 2022 10. They put in so much amazing stuff into this tin, uh, and it is one of the better tins they have done in a while. 2022, uh, 2020 wasn't a bad one. There was a lot of value in that box. I uh, tin and I just opened. I don't think it was the greatest, but I that 20. This just blows 2021 out of the water. Look at that. More chunky boys there. That's a thick Let's go. Ball. Get into the next 2022 tins. Three packs. I'm bet we're gonna get some better. I'm betting we're going to get some better value. Let's see. Three packs here. And starting out, not going to worry too much about these commons, because I'm sure you've seen tons of uh, videos opening this already. Book of Lunar Eclipse. ZW nice. Pegasus Twin Saber. Nibiru as an ultra. That is sick. Heritage of the Light. An incredible Ecclesia as the secret. And not going to waste too much time on the rest of those commons. Uh, that's a pretty good pack, actually. <laughs> Nibiru and Incredible Ecclesia. Those are two of the better cards in this set. Maintain some good value there. I'm pretty happy to see that. Lots of Despia in this one, as I said. Um, let's see. Supernatural Danger Zone and Garden Rose. Trap Tricks. Goki Finishing Move. Abyss Keeper is the first Ultra. DD Assault Carrier. <laughs> Rocks Rose Dragon, I don't have any of those, so I'm actually a little happy to see that, but not too bad, not too bad. So far, I think, I don't know, best pull might have been that Ecclesia and then a Bureau pack. I don't know, we'll see. Trabigate Rendezvous, Despian Comedy. I guess I'm not gonna worry about these too much. Uh, all right, Ultimate Flagship, Flanderies. Paleozoic, Dogmatica Genesis, DDD Superside, Flanderies in the Magnificent, Magnificent Map as the Secret. Not too bad. Well, that is it for those three tins. You know what? I not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're no, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open another 2022 tin just to see what we can get. I, I love these tins. I was gonna wait, but you know, we're gonna open another one just because I have two of them. See if that, this tin can be any better than the other one. Let's go. 2022 tins. Still got a case coming, but I just wanted to open some more of these. Let's go. Three more packs 2022. See what we can get. Of those three that I opened, though, I still think best value probably was the 2022 tin. Uh, Mystic Months, pretty good card to have. Good value on it. Oop, laundry, laundry trap there. The Alive Twins, Ghost Mourner, AI Meet You, Pharaonic, Guardian Sphinx. Oh, yes, the uh, secret rare. Red Eyes, Black Dragon, that is awesome. Not gonna worry about the rest of those. 
That's a sick card. Let's look at that guy again. That is a sick card. Look at that. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Secret Rare. That is awesome. Two more. Yeah, two more packs here. See what else we can get. Love to pull a pot of prosperity from these. Let's go. I'm not going to worry too much about these. We'll just cruise through here. Laval. Gunkin Suship. ZRS Arm Sage. Another Heritage of Light, Gallimoria, and Dual Tower. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It's a legacy card, I guess. I mean, it's Kaiba's Tower, but eh, that pack was kind of meh. But, all right, next one. Last pack. This is the last pack. I don't have any more 2020 10, 10s until my case comes in. Let's go here. Can we get one of the big cards? Judge of the Ice Barrier. Another Ghost Mourner. Laundries. Threshold Borg, Odomashidemashi, uh, and Rainbow Bridge. Pfft. Sorry, not a big fan of that one. Eh, eh. You know what? That Red Eyes Black Dragon makes up for it, though. I'm hyped to see that. That is a good card. That has got some decent value. I think it was around 14 15 bucks I had last time I looked. All right. So, as I said, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me down in comments. Tell me what you think was the best 10 of those three. And I, with that, I will be back with more tin openings. I'm sure some point here in the soon, whatever my case finally comes in. <laughs> Till next time, like, comment, subscribe, share with your mama. It's your move.